Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. It is the Swindon Town's Hoodley Poopers once again, this time facing Crystal Palace, a team that was once rumored to be for sale and to be purchased by none other than uh, Sean P. Diddy Combs. Uh, however, I think, or Jay-Z. Somebody remind me who it was. Um, regardless, uh, the Swindon Town's Hoodley Poopers are back. We've had a tough run of play. We lost to FC Twente. We had a nil-nil draw. Before that, we lost to Knotts County. It's just been rough. But uh, we're hoping things will change today. We've got other John Green and Stone Cold Steve with the C Austin up front. And, uh, you know, we should have a strong enough team to take on Crystal Palace today. Uh, it's a rainy day in Swindon is an example of a... Uh, <laughs> um, of an obvious statement. Because they're all rainy days in Swindon. Um... Redundancy, that's what I was trying to say. It's a rainy day in Swindon is an example of a redundancy. Uh, I killed that joke. Anyway, I'll make it next time it rains, which will be next time I play. Uh, look at this run right away. Why couldn't we do this against Twente? Ooh, that was bad foul. I'm not going to deny it. Um, I'm going to tell you today the story of how I met my friend Maureen Johnson, New York Times bestselling novelist and uh, Twitter phenomenon Maureen Johnson. Um, I think it's kind of a kind of an interesting story and g good story about how writers get to know each other and and then how those friendships end up affecting their work. Um, and so it'll also be a little bit of a story about Paper Towns and um, and and some other books. But uh, I met Maureen Johnson for the very first time uh, about a year into my stay in New York. We had a signing together, which is how writers usually oh Stone Cold Steve with a C Austin. Look at that. We are back in the game. It's almost like we just remembered how to score. Look at that Stone Cold Steve with the C Austin. Love it. Love it. We humiliate their keeper. We did it for Fat Lucas. That's right. Great job. We got Fat Lucas in goal, by the way, of course, as always. So um, we had this author signing event. They were like, it was at Books of Wonder, and, and which is in, in New York City, uh, like a cool children's bookstore in New York City. And there were like 40 people there. And... Um, uh, Maureen is, is a truly eccentric person. And when I met her, uh, you know, we were just like reading and, and, and answering questions from readers and stuff. And when I met her, it was, it was immediately clear to me that uh, this was in 2006, by the way, before Vlogbrothers. It was immediately clear to me that like Maureen was very strange, like legitimately not performed strange the way that, you know, some people are where they're. They're, you know, consciously trying to be quirky. Um, Maureen does not try to be quirky because she is so profoundly strange. That it would be, it would be silly to pretend. Um, and, and it just fascinated me to meet like an actual eccentric, uh, to to meet someone who, when you look in their eyes, you don't really know who's driving the bus on some level. Um, and uh, that's the way I felt about Maureen, just from like our brief encounter. And I was also friends at the time with. Uh, E. Lockhart, Emily Jenkins, who is an uh, acclaimed National Book Award finalist, Prince Honoree. Um, she wrote the book. Uh, the Hold on. No. Yes. Yes. Other John Green. Yes. I can't even think of my song about Other John Green, but I have one somewhere. Uh, he used to be Jay Bennett, but then he married for love, and now he's Jay Green. So proud of him. Look at that. You know, you know, uh, Ball John Green's at home uh, recuperating and just feeling great pride. I don't know if the uh, Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers game is te are televised, but I, I suspect they are. We're in the championship, man. We're a legit club now. So, um, so at the time, I was also friends with the author uh, Emily uh, Emily Jenkins, who uh, wrote um, uh, Frankie Landau Banks. You know that book? Um, such a great book. Uh, oh, 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 ba ba. You know, once I start scoring, I can usually score over and over again, but the hard thing is to start. Uh, is that a thing in FIFA? Can someone explain to me if, like, that's a, that's a common problem among FIFA game. players? So, um, so I emailed Emily, and I got Maureen's email address, and I emailed, oh, no, fat, there's nothing Fat Luis can do about that kind of play. So I got scored on. That's, that's unfortunate. Don't worry about it, Lucas. That's the defense's fault. Um, I, I emailed both of them, and I said that I, would, I was looking for writer friends to write with, which I was, because writing is pretty isolating, and I was starting to feel really uh, lonely and uh, kind of miserable in New York, and I didn't really have a lot of uh, friends in New York, 
and also because I kept a kind of weird schedule as writers will, um, my friends generally didn't have free time at the same time I had free time, you know? So like, I really just wanted a work, a work relationship. Um, and so they both said yes, and we started writing together. First, we would write together at this place called Dean and DeLuca. At the time, I was just starting, uh, I, I was just starting to diet. Can't remember if I was married yet or if we were about to get married, and that's why I was trying to lose like five pounds. Um, I'm such a, yeah, you know, you want to look good in that tuxedo. It's probably the only time I'm ever going to wear a really nice rented tuxedo. Um, I got the nicest rental they had on offer. And, uh, but we would eat at this place. Um, we, would, we would basically have breakfast and then write for a few hours. And we, did, we talked a little bit, but it was mostly just writing. Although it was at one of those, um, those writing sessions where Maureen invented the in-your-pants phenomenon. Um, we were trying to uh, help uh, Emily decide on a title. The title, of course, became the disreputable history of Frankie Landau Banks. But um, before it was the disreputable history of Frankie Landau Banks, it was, you know, a bunch of other things. This is the Oh, other John Green. That's right. Show me how you fly that plane. And then you come in for the landing. All right. Swoodly poopers love it. They're used to cheering in the rain because it's always raining in Swindon. So, um, so we were talking about titles with, uh, with Emily, and um, some, from somewhere Maureen came up with the idea that if you just added in your pants to the end of book titles, all of the book titles would become better. Um, and uh, we did lose a couple hours of writing time that day to, to playing the in your pants game, although, of course, that would go on to become a big deal in uh, Nerdfighteria. Um, and, you know, over the first couple months that I, that I knew Maureen, I... I, I I still felt like I didn't know her, which was what was so fascinating to me about our friendship. Like we, uh, you know, we would talk about work and, and, um, and I, I had, you know, great, I, great respect for her uh, intellect. And I've always thought that she's a great writer. And, um, you know, I've, I've always really thought very highly of her books. And so there was that, but like, I didn't feel like, oh my gosh, one minute and 30 seconds in, go into the goal and celebrate. That There's no shame in that, other John Green. You don't have anyone to celebrate with because you just ran down the field and scored. Beautiful. Beautiful. I almost feel, look at that. I almost feel bad for Crystal Palace at this point. So um, I'm going to I'm gonna take, I, I've gotten really scared of my players getting injured because of what happened to bald John Green. So I'm going to take out other John Green because I'm worried about him. And I'm also going to take out Stone Cold Steve with the C Austin. Um, and I'm going to put in... Uh, uh, a la 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 Lana and a voluptuous pericard. I'd like to put in um, Leroy Williamson. Uh, I'm just going to tell you the song that somebody wrote about Leroy Williamson. It goes like this. Um, Leroy Williamson scores occasionally. Leroy Williamson, he scores occasionally. I like it because it's true. Uh, he doesn't score much. So, you know, I haven't had, I haven't had cause to use that song yet. But I'm, I'm hoping to be able to use it sometime this season. That's not a foul. That's just a couple guys having a good time. Um, but then slowly, like, over the course of several months, like, I, I did come to, to know Maureen, and I, I came to, uh, you know, like, know her as a friend and not just as, as a person who's eccentric. And that's a fascinating process. You don't in life get to meet that many, like, genuinely eccentric people. Um, ah! Oh, what a goal. What a goal. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get up. Get up, fatty. Yes! Yes! He gets up and immediately celebrates. Yes! He's not hurt. Thank God. That was a, that was a fun goal. You don't see him like that very often. Good job. La, 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 la. Oh, crap. He is hurt. Voluptuous paracard. Injured. It's, it just never stops for the swoodly poopers. I got nobody I can bring in for this guy. Literally nobody. Uh, I got... Who am I going to bring in? I'm going to bring in the goalkeeper. Oh, and they won't let me do that, probably. Uh, how about F. Hall? I, mean, I don't even know his name. Civilli? B. Bowden? B. Bowden. He's only a 45, but this would be his first goal ever. His name's Bowden Bowden. I mean, how can you not bring him in? So uh, I came to know Maure Maureen as, as a friend, and it's a fascinating thing to become friends with, with an actual uh, eccentric person. Um, because uh, because what, what you realize is that y you just have to imagine the world. You, you have to try to, like, imagine the world they do, which is such a great thing in terms of one's creativity. 
Uh, and I found it so helpful to me as a writer to be around Maureen and, and Emily, and, and we also sometimes wrote with Scott Westerfeld and um, uh, some other people as well, uh, Libba Bray occasionally. And um, I just found it so interesting and helpful uh, to be around them. Um, but Maureen particularly, when I was writing Paper Towns, because it was a glimpse into, it helped me sort of imagine Margot as a character more complexly. Not that like in any way, Maureen and Margot have, they don't have much in common or anything, except that they are both, you know, very much like individuals of, of their own passions and interests and not really very compromising in a really admirable way. Like I, I really admire that uh, Maureen never, she never thinks to compromise. It's almost like it doesn't cross her mind that compromise is an option. Whereas I'm always more than happy to compromise and give, you know, try to make everybody happy. Um, and I, I think that's, I think that comes through in her books as well. I mean, I think that's one of the things that makes her, make her book so enjoyable. But uh, it really helped me write Paper Towns to, uh, to, to write that book, you know, while sitting across the table from Maureen and Emily. And I think it, I think it says something that I'm really proud of, that when I look back at that time, I see three books that came out of that, that time, um, Sweet Scarlet, uh, the Disreputable History of Frankie Landau Banks and Paper Towns, three books that I, I really like and that I really am proud of. And I think they do in some ways represent the, the weird energy that was going on in those uh, coffee shops. And later it was a cupcake store. Um, yeah, well, you're not very good. That's the problem, Bowden, Bowden. Um, yeah, we, we used to go to this cupcake store every day, but we somehow I would manage never to eat a cupcake. I would always get tea. Um, and, uh, but I would never eat, I, I, I'm not a cupcake eater. Uh, well now I am because I'll eat anything that's bad for me. But back in the day when I, you know, when I was, uh, when I was young and, uh, and slim, um, I would never eat cupcakes. Just so we would go to this cupcake store and nobody would eat cupcakes. It was kind of beautiful. Come on, you got a score there. You're embarrassing my family. Wow, Ambrose has special hair. I mean, can we see him from the side, from the back, please? Can you turn a little bit, Ambrose? Oh my, that, that was worth the price of admission. Uh, and now, of course, Maureen and I have been friends for many years, and, uh, and I, I, you know, we, we talk a lot about, about writing and, um, and, and our books, and I, I, I'm so proud to see her. Um, I'm so proud of the book, The Name of the Star. I, I've never read a book um, by Maureen or anyone else. Oh, come on, Bowden! Bowden, you're terrible. Um, that I that that was just so delicious to read. Like it was such a gift to its readers. On some levels, on some level, books should be a gift to their readers, right? Like that's what a book should do. Is it should be kind to its readers. It should be something that that you know readers want to receive. And the, the name of the star is better at that than uh, I think any book I've I, I I can even remember reading. I just it's just something that you can kind of luxuriate in uh, and it really does feel like a gift so um i'm just i'm so proud of her that she's become this like you know great great writer she was a great writer ah oh, finally bowden 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 with his first and let's face it probably last goal for the swindon town swoodly poopers i'll be honest with you bowden bowden is for sale he is one of the players that we are looking uh to to move to a different club so that, uh, you know, the Swindon Towns Woodley Poopers can continue their inexorable march to the Premier League. But, you know, great day for him, and I'm, I'm proud of him. And he's a Swoodley Pooper through and through, and uh, we'll always think of him as one, even if uh, he isn't always a member of the club. So, uh, so yeah, that's the story of how, how Maureen Johnson and I came to be friends. And, um, you know, she's uh, been, a, been a great friend to me, and I'm very grateful uh, for her friendship. And it was a lot of fun to work with her on uh, the book Let It Snow, which was also co-authored by uh, our, our friend Lauren Myrickle, who has been much in the news lately and has uh, shown herself to be uh, a, a tremendous class act and uh, someone who uh, I have great admiration for that has only grown in the last week. And uh, check out The Name of the Star, but also check out Lauren's novel, uh, new novel, which is called Shine, and it is uh, genuinely excellent. Uh, one of the best books uh, I've read this year. And, um, and I'm really, uh, really proud to be friends with those people and also proud that we, uh, we wrote this book together so now I can, you know, some of their shine can wear off on me maybe. 
thank you for watching another episode of Hank Games without Hank. As you can see, we had a lot of goals today from French the la 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 Bowden, Bowden, three, a hat trick from other John Green and Stone Cold Steve with the C Austin scored as well. So it's a great day all around for the Swoodley Poopers, uh, Crystal Palace, weak opposition, and uh, we showed them. So thank you, and uh, I will see you next time. Best wishes.